it's very early. I'm waiting on Sager. Tomorrow's like, what are you doing? I gotta go early, bud. Hey. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> I'm a little bit. Ooh. You gonna play all day? Okay, I'll see you later. Waiting on Sager now, who's running late. And I made a bet earlier last night that he wouldn't beat us to the mountains. It's probably not positive. Headed to Breckenridge right now. I do believe. Yeah, Breckenridge. Brecky, Brecky, Breck. We made it to Breckenridge. <laughs> Ern beat us here. He's already up in the mountains. He won this round, but he won't win on the slope. You know what I'm saying? Eight boys. Already hit. How many runs, Brand? Chilling by the fireplace here at Breck. Still waiting on Teddy and Sager, so I could probably take another run with the speed that I have, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. I got this camera. It's about to get crazy today on the motherfucking mountain. Peace.
goes to the tunnel. That other one goes to that tunnel. It's like, what time is it, 12.30? One o'clock? Ern's lost. Ern's lost? He hit you up? He just said he's lost. Oh, he texted me and said he was good. Whew, well, we lost Ern again. Another shirt coming. Um, but yeah, the snow is bad. Spring, spring. <laughs> yeah, it's really sticky, ride. it's really slow. It's supposed to snow again next week, but uh, if it doesn't, then we're, the season might be over. Might be a short, not so amazing season. Ah, oh, damn. That snow is so sticky. So did Ern ever get back to you that he was found, or? No. Ern went missing. Yeah, Ern's gone. See you at home, buddy. We're out. I think. That's yeah, you can pay on your phone or you can pay at the box if you would like. Either or. So when you come to Breckenridge, make sure you pay because they will boot your shit. Martin's been home for a long time, so he's probably going to be crazy. He's going a little crazy because he can't go outside. Like, well, he can go outside on walks, but he can't run like he wants to until the stitches are gone. And they said two weeks. So yesterday was a week, seven more days. I don't know if he's going to actually... Well, six more days. I don't know if he's gonna make it though. Hey! Were you outside? Hi! Dylan! Whoa! Hey! Hey, I know I left so early. I left so early. I know. I know. Let's go in here and see what kind of mess you made. Okay, I can deal with it. I can clean this. I can clean this. The Kinder Baba? Damn, why are you staying humble out here, huh? Home. Well, I am home. We lost Ernie. I'm drinking. Maybe this is Ernie. Hello. Are you sure? I found out yesterday my lease is up a month earlier than I thought, which means I have to completely plan my life. Um, yeah, I have to quickly do this. I have to plan the next move. Uh, yeah, we have shoes we can look at today. But honestly, I'm exhausted and I have a bunch of stuff I have to do. I have to go out to dinner and then I'm still gonna get this vlog edited and it's already 5.30, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna look at it. We'll take a look at the other Pharrell's tomorrow. I don't have anything else coming. Well, oh, that's not true. I have the triple black Y3 Psycho because they dropped a black version, of course. Fuck me. I don't think there's anything else coming. Nothing I can think of off the top of my head. I can't even think of anything coming like next off the top of my head that I'm like going like, yeah, I don't know, my brain might just be fried. But speaking of shoes, they've dropped actually now. They were coming soon, but now they are here and you've seen them everywhere because Adidas has basically sent this shoe to everyone. Definitely not my cup of tea, but I think the shoe is interesting um, and I want to talk about it from a, I don't know, not, it's not a review obviously because I don't have the shoe. I'm not gonna buy the shoe. There's nothing that would get me to buy the shoe. It doesn't have boost. If it had boost, I probably still wouldn't buy it. I do appreciate some of the design aspects and I do appreciate some of the, do appreciate some things about it. There are some things about it that I really just don't think hit the mark. It does have some context, which I didn't actually know when I first saw the shoe, but once I looked into it, I learned a little bit more. Derupt, the derupt, which is disrupt and erupt. Smooshed together. This shoe is a little different. So this shoe is like most Adidas stuff, which is kind of what I appreciate about Adidas is them going into the archives and building on ideas that may have not been uh, fully developed. Uh, building off ideas of creators that, you know, these people that current designers had never met, long gone, dead, and gone, you know. Some of that stuff's cool, like just kind of working with the pieces you already have and working with the inspiration from previous generations. I think that's cool. There's a fine line also. It doesn't always mean just because you tap into the archive, it's good. And of course, I'm not a fan of just tapping into the archive and being like, Hey, here it is again. Um, but everything that we have now is kind of cued off of something old, potentially, you know, Calabasas cued off something old. The Derupt, Derupt, I think it's Derupt. The Derupt. The Derupt has a, what's called stretch grid. So when you first look at the shoe, obviously the first thing you're gonna notice is the stretch grid webbing that is across the entire shoe. Top of the whole shoe sort of looks like fruit, you know, when it's packaged like that. That's the first thing it reminds me of. Initially, it's kind of like, eh. But this stretch webbing is based off of an older shoe from Adidas, the Adidas Marathon. Actually, one of the last shoes that Adi Dossler worked on before he passed away, 1978. Eight. The marathon came out in 79 and that has that stretch webbing 
on the midsole. That was the first time they used that designed for uniform compression and rebound. In the early 80s, you saw different marathon models that coincided with different cities, you know, just regular stuff. You've seen this before. You see it happen sometimes still with Adidas. They use this webbing on just the midsole. This is the first time they just covered the whole shoe in it. I'm assuming that is for some sort of uniform compression. Uh, it's sitting on top of a knit. The knit is supposed to conform to your foot. There's some on the inside of the shoe, they have zoned cushioning. Combined with the upper, it's supposed to form with your foot. Again, I'm not gonna, I do know it doesn't have boost. And I do know it looks an awful lot like a Pharrell in the upper. That's my, my nitpick with the whole thing is I don't really, I don't think they could have wrapped any other shoe. I don't think they could have taken a marathon type shoe and wrapped it like that. I think they did what they could with what they had and they, they went with an idea. And I think the shoe, you're gonna see it everywhere. Don't know that it's gonna be a huge seller. I don't think everyone's gonna get it. And I don't really think that a lot of people even understand or know the, the lineage behind it. They just see a crazy shoe that looks like it's wrapped in pantyhose. I also don't know what happens if you rip that webbing. Like if you just rip or snag one little piece, that the whole shoe is just kind of fucked at that point. But I don't know, I don't know how tough any of that is. I don't, it's almost like I should get the shoe just to check it out, but I don't want the shoe. The basic idea behind the whole thing was to look very graphic, which they achieved. The red, white, and blue looks super, super graphic, like almost out of a video game. The shoe was designed in Tokyo, I believe. I think this is a sector of Adidas Tokyo. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. Another thing that was interesting about the shoe is that Adidas designers sort of alluded to the fact that they designed this shoe with Instagram in mind, which is super different, you know, uh, but taking note of the way that people shoot their photos, um, the way I shoot my photos, I think is what they're talking about, where one foot is planted flat. So they designed the shoe so that it was basically photogenic from the top, looking down at the toe box. I guess to motivate people to share on social media more, making the shoe more photogenic. I don't know, it's definitely different. It's definitely gonna get comments, I guess, if you post that shoe, negative, good or bad. Really, it, it doesn't matter. By the way, here's a little tip. It doesn't matter if they leave good or bad comments, they're still comments, your algorithm is good, you know. Like, let them talk. A simple graphic shoe, very summertime. I mean, definitely a 4th of July looking shoe in this colorway. There's all kinds of colorways. I think there's four right now, three. Uh, I would expect to see a lot more of them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna get it, so. And then the only other thing that I wanna talk about real quick, there's this stupid ass meme going around or whatever that is fine as a meme when some regular dude makes it. But now all these sneaker blogs, are reposting it. I'm sure you've seen it. This is what the meme looks like. And it's critiquing, not really even critiquing, just sort of talking shit about sneaker YouTube. I don't relate to this tweet because I don't, I don't do any of this stuff that they're talking about. But I also think that it's kind of bullshit that the blogs are posting this. I think, I don't think that blogs have any room to talk or really any like, you're, you're not standing on top of any mountain here. Like blogs are, just as bad as the guys that y'all are trying to, uh, the people you're trying to call out. You guys do the same shit and you even steal content from some of these YouTubers and try to make it your own because you guys are bigger ships and you don't move that quick. That's kind of the benefit of YouTube and being a creator or whatever the fuck you want to call it, but I can move quick. Personally, I started doing YouTube because I felt like I could offer something different. I don't want to say better, but I definitely felt like I offered something different and I felt like there was nothing on YouTube that I personally was like diving into. So my only real words about this whole thing, like I don't care, make memes all you want, like sneaker blogs, don't throw stones in your glass house, but uh, if you don't like the current state of what's on YouTube, and you don't like who's on top, and you don't like who's getting shine, do something about it. Grab a camera, your iPhone, whatever the fuck it is, start making content, and change it. You know what I mean? Like, you cannot knock someone out of their position if you're not even at the game. Some of y'all aren't even, like, anywhere close to the game. You're not even on the field, you're not in the Coliseum, you're not even in the fucking city or state. That, to me, is super whack. If you don't like something, change it. Other than that, like, you're still watching. You know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't know all these things if you weren't watching. So, critique all you want, but kind of like a put up or shut up thing, I guess. I don't know. I'm not even offended by it. I just think it's super weird. I think it's super, super weird. So, yeah, be about it. But, all right, that's it. That's it for the day. I'm out. Peace. <sighs> okay, I just got home from dinner. It is late. After 11, Super stoned. I can't finish editing the vlogs tonight. We're getting a double feature Friday. You know, Omar hasn't really been able to run around, do his normal Omar, his normal Omar things. And so I came home tonight. You know, yesterday we had the uh, foam everywhere, whatever it's called, stuffing. Today we have the loofah. We've gone full loofah and full effect. But then we pan over here to the bed. 
upon first inspection, it looks as if this is some yarn. You got a little yarn here. But no sir, if you trace this, this is where Omar decided to fucking destroy the top of the mattress. But I'm pretty sure this is just a cover, and I'm pretty sure I can get it taken off and get another one from Lisa. So that's positive. But you! So you, sir. Hello. Excuse me. Omar? Hey. You need to chill out. So everybody good night. We're going to bed. Hey. Tell everybody good night. Ow! Jeez. That probably fucking jacked my face up, dude. Ah, my face jacked up? Probably. Oh my god. He ripped his leg off. Aren't you supposed to calm down? Hey. Hey, they told me you were gonna calm down after this. You're a nut. You're a nut. Yeah. It's my gator. It's my gator. Can't get it from me. Sucker. Check out Luke, dog. What's up, Lee? Yeah. Run it. See what happens. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for this. You looking for your gator? I got your friend. I got your friend. Yeah. What you gonna do? You gonna try and save him? You can't save him. One more move when he gets it. Even though you already pulled his arm off, so what do you care? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, this vlog is probably a part of the vlog from yesterday. I started editing last night, went to dinner, ended up taking way too long at dinner. Went to the fucking Cheesecake Factory, which is the only thing good there. I'm convinced the only thing good at the Cheesecake Factory has cheese in the name. So I got cheese fries, cheesecake, everything else kind of trash. Last night just like kind of got away from me. And I think I said earlier this week that it was a crazy week and I just have a shitload of stuff going on. Just like not vlog stuff right now. Trying to get ready for this drop has been crazy. Uh, trying to keep my sanity has been somewhat difficult. Sorry for the lack of consistency that's still just as frequent, but yeah, I don't like getting off schedule. But I did and it happened, so it's all good. Anyway, um, everything should be situated, I think, for the weekend. The drop is on the site now, everything that's coming soon. So you can check it out now. Well, you can't check it out, but you can look at it. Oh, it's teddy.com if you wanna check that. Yeah, like I'm really looking forward to the weekend and relaxing. It's just been such a long week. I need a vacation or something, but I don't even have time for a vacation because I gotta go, I don't know. My lease is almost up. Which, yeah. There's a lot going on. <sighs> Including your crazy ass who cannot go run and frolic and you're driving me nuts. It's are crazy if they think I'm putting up with you being this crazy for another, I don't know, four days. Oh. Leave it there. Let me balance it. Let me balance it. Doesn't balance. Cole's gonna have you keep it. You're buying because she can't fly with all this. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's liquid. It's liquid. Know, and she's only gonna carry on. I can't wait to work with her. I'm can't fly so with excited. Weed. No, of course not. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, so last time I saw you it was on the vlog, you got lost. Well, yeah. I'm also editing right now, which so I've been doing all morning, but there's really no footage of you other than you getting past. Come on! You say this every time. What about where I jump past the camera? I have that. I have that. I okay. do have the jump. I do. Anything in the park or me falling down the hill or I was too far away. You're too far the... away, yeah. Most of us. I've waited all day for this. I know. You, you tweeting me last night and like, I did that on purpose. I was like, you're such a fucking dick. I know. I, I ordered yeah. cheese fries and then there everybody said get buffalo bites. So I ordered some of those and they were fucking trash. Dude, chicken Romano is like chicken parmesan, but instead of oh. bread crust, it's Romano cheese crust. I know. Just... All, Nicole gets up earlier than me, so the house is up and rising. At 5:30 now Oof. instead of 6:30. Yeah, like I love it. that. I don't love it though. I'm up. We're listening to Kodak Black and drinking coffee. 5:45 a.m. I couldn't want to start the day any other way. I'm getting a massage with marijuana today. This is gearing up our marijuana week for next week. Yeah. Which? Oh, never mind. Maybe not. Oh, 
So and this has THC and Dude, THC. this so this one is 90 to, look, here's the 92% THC and a tiny bit of CBD. Now they have a 10 to 1 CBD one, which is like 12% THC. We went in hard. Am I gonna be so high that I can't edit? I was wondering. We're gonna that. find out. <laughs> it's We're gonna, gonna find be like out. three days to pull out like snowboarding. And then he came back and got this massage with weed and now he can't do shit. That's I love funny. this makeshift. That's amazing. Just got done with my weed massage like an hour ago. I don't really feel too much, I mean I feel great from the massage, but I don't really feel too much different from the weed aspect. So I don't know if that really works to be honest. Relaxing nonetheless and needed. But shoes real quick, gonna go ahead uh, and talk about these Pharrell's, the last of the Holly pack. The last pair to look at is the other multicolor pair. I don't know the official names of all these, just calling them all the holy pack, you know, purple bricks, coral bottom. But this is the last pair that we have not looked at. I wore these yesterday, actually, for a bit. They're actually, these are super sick too. This whole pack, I think, is really great. I fuck with it hard. A lot of people uh, don't, and that's fine. I get it, like, if you only have, like, four or five pairs of shoes, and this is one of them, the rotation is kind of wild. I get it, but for me, these are all super sick, so super hyped to get them. This fits the same as the rest of them I reviewed. I'm not going to go through the fit again because it's super redundant at this point. And if this is your first video that you found of mine, congratulations. Now you have to go back. Yeah, so the only real difference in this shoe would be what's written on the shoe and the colors. The color scheme is definitely different from the other multicolor, a little darker, uh, a lot more magenta and purples, a lot more dark magenta. Um, and then the left and right shoe contrast is just a little different. You know, the left shoe is way lighter than the right shoe. And at first, I'm completely guilty. I thought that these patterns were all different. I completely thought that each shoe was unique in its own way, but it doesn't look to be the case, at least not in size 13s. Uh, to prove that point, I have one here that is pretty much the same. And then there's even another one. And it's also pretty much the same. There's like slight differences, but the pattern is definitely deliberate. Green laces, it comes with another pair of peach laces, which I'll probably swap out, honestly. Peach laces look super sick. And also, I've seen some really cool shit with the blank canvas and mixing all these laces in, like this, the purple lace, that shit looks fire. Fuck with it. Obviously, the right shoe says hue, and this would be Hindi for color. My one little nitpick here is I wish that this one said H-U-E in color, so that it was like Q in color. That's I just don't know why that didn't happen, but other than that, it's fine. I didn't make the shoe, it's cool. It's just something I would have done. With the duality of different languages. And then you have coral, trail bottom, you know, coral, 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 green laces, purple, purple, multicolor, so. Yeah, so these are super, super cool. There's a couple of quality things on these, like this one has a snag, and then the other pair on, in here has a little snag on it too, so that's kind of whack, not really like, you know, I guess it happens, it's whatever, their shoes, but I can see people bitching about it. Super hyped to have gotten them. I'm glad they got all the pairs. Or else the Afro pack I fuck with, people, a lot of people aren't feeling them yet. I'm sure they will come around as they tend to, but uh, I rock with it, so. But yeah, this is the other multicolor from the powder pack. Holly pack, da 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 da, Pharrell Williams, shoes, Adidas, Teddy, peace. For real this time.